Hello there everyone and welcome back to Do You Know The Last Days of Europe. I'm your host, Tam Okalevo, and right now we need to talk about the pincer. Okay, let's do this. We didn't get where we are today without taking risks. We are here because we are the toughest, ballsiest sons of guns around, and it's high time to remind everyone else. Delvanga has authorized simultaneous raids against Orenburg and the Aeolic both, splitting our forces into two. It'll be difficult, launching these attacks, not throwing our full force into either, but the rewards we might take will be glorious. In Orenburg, we will send half of our boys deep into their territory and then simply let them loose. We will let them go forth and do whatever it is they feel like doing, consequence free for three days. The only requirements that uh, they are that they report back to camp once the time's expired, and they don't kill any of their officers, and they cause as much trouble as possible. The other half of uh, our forces will be sent across the border with the League and launch three simultaneous strikes against one of their ammo depots in the old Soviet airfield, a refugee camp based out of an old sports stadium, and a Euro Guard command post. Neither raid. Well, reinforcements, so it'll be do or die. The perfect chance for boys to prove themselves. This will be our grandest offensive yet, and we'll follow up with a focus such as reap the spoils. We spent the last uh, while taking everything in the southern Urals that wasn't nailed down, and some things that were. It's time to take a moment and enjoy what we've accomplished. Life is about more than raiding. After all, it's also about enjoying the wine and women that come along with it. Make sure to use it, and them all up. We can and will always go and get more. And we have some couple comments saying, uh, uh, someone said Oscar Delvanga, Delvanga is a hero, and a lot of you guys want me to do pincer, so that's why we went down with the pincer uh, focus. The pincer mixed results in Orenburg. Three days have passed, and our boys are beginning to return from the lands around Orenburg, having been let free from the leashes for a time. It wouldn't be right to call the outcome a failure, but it hasn't been a particular success either. Having split our forces in half, our commanders are now of the opinion that we simply were not able to give our boys enough time to ca cause the trouble we wanted them to, nor did they have the numbers to do any of the really good stuff. Crops have burned, riches looted, women sodomized, and wells poisoned, but we have failed to make this raid truly great like we wanted, and should be remembered alongside all of our others. Hopefully there's more success against the League. And... Oh, there goes Vyatka. Okay, come on. The pits are failure against the League. We have succeeded in a great raid against the Euro League, but it has come at a terrible cost. At the airstrip, our forces assaulted the base fiercely in close combat, savagely overwhelming the ill-prepared garrison with knives, glass, and knuckles just as often as bullets. As the blood saturated the soil, we filled out trucks with as much as they could carry, before detonating what remained of the ammo depot along with the fuel stocks and destroyed the runway. We didn't find any planes there, but we better be safe, better be safe than sorry. Over at the sports stadium, our boys struck in the night, blocking the exits, and proceeded to throw pe petrol bombs into the refugee camp inside. The fire spread rapidly across the tents, screams engulfing the night silence. Anyone lucky enough to manage to climb over the walls were promptly shot as a reward. Finally, part of our Waffen SS unit specializing in stealth assaulted in a Euro Guard command post. Dozens were killed in their beds, throats slit, along with the assassination of three senior officers. All radio equipment was wrecked and any documents were of interest taken, including a couple of maps, which will surely be prove useful in future attacks. However, our commanders have argued we needed to also launch numerous smaller raids along the border to prevent the Euro Guard from organizing a response, but this is, became impossible with a commitment to also sending men to Orenburg. As a result, following the successes, our men were confronted by the Guard before they could return to our lands, and we took heavy losses before they were able to, finally able to escape. A tragic end to a wonderful achievement. So, it, was, it says failure. It was kind of a failure, but not really. As long as we still raid, I feel pretty good about it. Even though we lose a lot more political power, we lose army XP, we remove to the slaughter, which actually was pretty nice for us over here. Even though we lost defense, but that's kind of okay. And then, uh, we lose attacking defense, and we're still reaping the spoils. So, I actually, I replayed that one like three or four different times off screen. And the pincer uh, focus, that, those are the results, I think, every single time. So, I even did it before even selected this one. So, I think you're destined to only get those two events for Reap the Spoils. Which is unfortunate, but, hey, it is what it is. Uh, regardless, um, not, I'm learning <laughs> I'm learning how to play Adult Banger a lot more and more as time goes on. But, um, yeah. Unfortunately, though, uh, our soldiers are uncontrollable. And the officers are an open ride against us, which sucks. But, hey, it is what it is. You know, I'm kind of hoping that Drill Fanger gets a sub mod someday that, in which he can reunify Russia. But, you know what? It is what it is. Honor the deal. Or demand double. Um, we already demanded double before. Or we're just trying to use and abuse him. We're honor the deal. Hmm. <clears throat> you know what? I kind of want to... 
demanding double. I mean, we're we'll going big and going home. So let's demand double. If it doesn't go well, then we'll figure it out. If you want to read about another deal, please go right ahead. But demand double. The time has come again yet to make another deal with Lysenko. And just as before, there are those in the brigade who say we should press the mad scientist for more, more guns, more training, more everything. Why wouldn't we? He must have more in there than he's letting on, regardless of how much we've squeezed out of him so far. Let's see how much we can get out of the Black Mountain stockpiles this time, and also see how much he has left before the point where he's no longer useful, of course. Is this going to go well? Probably not, but, you know, I said the last time, too. Purge the officer corps. I've heard this is okay to do. Um, hopefully we don't have to go raid anybody anytime soon, but it doesn't really hurt our attack or defense, so... Sometimes you got to purge your own group. And with that one done, we won't be able to do this anymore, so actually we're just hopefully going to focus on radar instead, even though we probably won't be able to get that done. I should have done that before. Give it to the best. Sure, why not? Sure, why not? More manpower. I've heard that, actually, there's not that many guides oh, wait, on uh, how to play Dolphanger, but... Come on, game. I want to demand double anyways. Uh, just... Really, you need to focus more on the soldiers, but doing both. It doesn't seem like there's a penalty to do both, so that's what we'll do. Follow it up with prepare for the final battle. The time has come. We've hit the Euro League over and over, and still they stand. Still they fight us at every opportunity. Still they, maddeningly, give the people hope that they can stand against us. Against the brigade, no longer. We will prepare one final strike to end those cowards for good. And once they're gone, the people who have thought themselves safe under the protection will learn what we're really capable of. Which would be good. Get some bonus to uh, infantry guns, too. I just hope this goes well. Come on, go well. Uh, if it doesn't go well, I'll probably reload the save and see what we can do about it. I probably could, I'm pretty sure he's going to say no to us, but... We'll see. We'll definitely see. Uh, why did it be this loyal man? All right, people are killing each other all over Russia, but we don't care. Okay, he sends double. Our favorite freak, Lysenko, escaped her demands for double the payment for the latest batch of captives. The supply is finally reaching us today. Apparently, while it's displeased at our extortion, or ex extortion attempt, he has the opinion that the better supplied we are, the more of our joint enemies we will be able to kill. He has no idea we will intend to use this equipment to kill our enemies, Lysenko himself, among others, among them, too. We'll put them to good use, all right. Great! Alright, if he gives in, we'll just keep the many more, right? Ready our men. Uh, let's do gather our guns first. Uh, any major fight with the League is going to require every weapon we have. To say that the men of the Brigade are hard on their equipment would be a colossal understatement. And so we must make sure that every weapon we do have is working, assigned to a fighter, and in peak condition as well. We can leave nothing to chance when we go after the League. We'll only have a single chance. Request for raiding party movement. Oh, do we get another one here? No, we didn't. There's still four. They're content and uncontrollable, which is... Eh, okay. Capital punishment, huh? I do like the stability, but still. And we just got a thousand manpower, and it's gone. Or three thousand, whatever it is. Ah! Another one for land auction is done. Great! Great! Oh, that's over here. Yeah. Oh, please get us a defense and organization. Please. It takes 200 days to get that done, but whatever. Gather our guns, my friends. Ready your men. If there's one thing that the Darnable Euro League has in spades, it's manpower. Refugees from across the southern Euros and flo beyond flow into the League's lands, and more than a few of them join up in an attempt to protect their families. If we're going to win, we need everyone to be ready. Discipline must be enforced, and every man of the brigade must be roused, pulled from between the legs of their latest conquest, or returned from whatever personal grudge they're left to settle. The showdown is approaching, and Bennett has been inaugurated. Good job, Bennett. Good job. Oh, okay, so a life, long life for the Black Bandit. Um, it seems like I need to take this one. So, if he dies randomly, I'll go back and probably take this one. So, Oscar Delvenga has survived countless battles as well as countless attempts on his life. From Germania to Russia and everywhere in between. But he has survived, and as long as he is vigilant, we can be sure that he will continue to lead us to victory in the future raids uncounted. Um, he wants to do both. I mean, there's no penalty to do both. So, the shield broken? Cool. We need more political power for us, though. So... Uh, we can only get 1.5 every day. That's pretty good, actually. That's pretty darn good. Purging the offices. Because you have to sometimes. Less recovery, less organization. But it's not that much of a debuff. Our um, revisions are okay. They're not great. But they're okay. And we have... I don't... I'll get to that already. We need more anti-tank, surprisingly. So, we're actually making some more, but still. Hmm, we could save more manpower by converting more divisions to arty divisions. With arty? 20s, and then we have these guys too, so... Is it really worth it? I don't know about that, but... <clears throat> Let's ready the men, regardless. 
We're going to keep an eye on that and sound the horn. We spent years in the lands around Orsk, suffering attacks from all sides. From our former so-called comrades in the Fatherland, from our cowardly Russian neighbors, from pathetic villagers who dare to strike back. No longer. We have grown strong and they have grown weak. The time of inaction is over. It's time to sound the horn. Let the hunt begin and charge forth. Is this worth doing? I mean, I don't want him to die while the decision is active, but it's rendered useless after the focus tree is finished. Which I guess makes sense, so... Um... I don't know. I kind of want to see if he dies randomly. Just to see what happens. One, at least once. Do we have another decision down here or something? We, we're up at 10. Maybe not. Maybe it's just because of the Black Bandit and stuff. Bang the drum. Destroy the league. I hope we can do well here. I really do. Go to the slaughter again. We lose even more defense. Oh, that's not good. But getting more political power is nice, and this one gives you more manpower, which we're going to need. We're definitely going to need. Hey, 2,500 manpower. We actually have a surplus. Look at that. Nice. Spread the joy. Sure. Let's think of Loyals flee south. It was a dark night around Olsk when the group of mysterious people arrived at the camp of the bandits of Oscar del Venga. Those desperate souls with exhausted gaze and starved bodies talked in an incomprehensible tongue and outrageously insisted from the camp guards to allow them to meet the bandit king himself. Restraining themselves from murdering them at sight and acquiring their fancy technological toys, the guards couldn't understand at first why would anyone dare to demand or ask such demands for the most dreaded criminals of southern Russia. Only after recognizing some of the verbal cues or clues, they realized that those were the scientists of Magnitogorsk, escaping their fate from the former lapdogs in the NKVD. Those survived Lysenkoists of Magnikogorsk, who learned about the miserable fate of their comrades in the hand of the NKVD, immediately left their laboratories and factories taking with th themselves the most valuable items into the wilderness of Siberia. Being aware that for most their most horrible crimes, no saying communities would accept their presence, the scientists attempted to find refuge in Drovanga's camps, believing that the Black Banner will find a use for their knowledge and spare them of death. Upon learning about his new guest, Oscar, immediately ordered his men to seize the whole belongings of the scientists and spread them across the camp and task his new minions to start mass production of weaponry supplies, while treating his new servants even lower than slaves, undoubtedly. Delvango took a sadistic pleasure in the whole process, as he now has under his cruel thumb the very same people who mocked him for being an illiterate barbarian. For the farmer Lysenkoists, scientists themselves, nothing mattered anymore, only survival. How the mighty have fallen. Oh, yes, please. Sound the horn and bang the drum. We are coming for enemies and we must let them know. We will exercise them in a full view of those that we that we know are watching. And make it clear that we are preparing for plunder, slaughter, and anything else besides. We will proclaim proudly that we are about to march. And that nothing they do, nothing they say, nothing they offer will save them from what's to come. They're already dead, they just don't know it yet. And of course we get this, uh, mostly of a buff back for about a year. And uh, the planning speed is really nice. Plus 100%, Jesus. That's really nice actually. Um, anything else? Yes. More manpower, because we're definitely going to need that where we're headed. Maybe we should do the other one first, because they're still content, which is fine. But really, the, those guys need to be a little bit higher here. Uh, capital punishment kind of sucks to do, but it's kind of necessary, actually. I always need more manpower, though. Always, always, always. Oh, here we go. Three more troops, yes. Uh, focus on... Oh, well. I love spending... I love spending our PP so much, man. Bang the drum, why not? Follow it up with... Destroy the League. It is time. Finally, after so many raids and so many battles, it is time. We've been preparing to destroy the Euro League for a very long while, and now it's time to march. And we will not be content with the plunder of filthy villages, no. We will not stop until all of their fortresses are flame, all of their fighters are dead or scattered, and all of their wealth and women are collected. We will not stop until the League is nothing more than a memory. And once they're gone, the fun can really begin. This is going to suck. This is going to suck really hard. They've gotten enough equipment here. Uh, ugh. they got a lot of guys. And that is not going to be good. I hope we can win. We should be able to win. We have eight divisions, and these guys are not even militia. Like, these guys all have at least some infantry. Or some artillery, actually. Purging officers is gone, which is nice. There goes our manpower. Um, we're still making two divisions. So, obviously, I'll probably reduce that if we needed. I just hope we can win, man. We have more than enough equipment for everything here, except anti-tank. But we don't really need anti-tank for what we need here. Maybe I should have just made our divisions 40 combo with. But I do want to try without taking the lo uh, long life of the Black Bandit yet, so. Well. C'est la vie. A hollow victory. Controlled by these guys. B loot and burn. Well, I guess we're going to wait then to see what happens. Is Orsk, Omsk still attacking at Magnitogorsk? God, I hope we can do well here. 
Um, you're are you the best attacker? You, yep, pretty much. He's pretty much the best attacker. And Oscar Dilvenga's skill six attack, because we do have offensive doctrine. So, good. Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. Oh, this is gonna suck. I don't know if we'll be actually able to win, because they've just been able to get stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger, which sucks. But we'll see. I know someone said they don't want me to use console commands for this, so we do it all natural. We could try it that way, and then maybe we'll go back and try to use console commands, because I want I actually want to see what happens if we win. Oh, they're attacking us. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, wait. They're both attacking us? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I was not planning on that happening. Wait, why are they both attacking us? Okay, yeah, that's impossible to win, then. That's literally impossible to win. What the heck? You can't win if you... T if both... If, what? Were they guaranteeing each other? We've already lost 5,000 men. Yeah, we can't have these divisions then. Um, that'd be worth it. Because they're uncontrollable. I don't know if it's worth doing now, though. Steroids. More attack. Less defense. Less defense, less attack. Oh, bypass the mountains. Oh, go to war with Or... Orsk. Um, probably do that one. That's straight up BS, man. We get minus 60% attack. Jesus Christ. That's so BS. There's nothing we can do then. Why? How much manpower do they have? They have no manpower. These guys have a crap ton of manpower. Yeah, I don't like this. Minus 60% defense is insane. Absolutely insane. Are you kidding me? We need extra manpower now. We can't do anything. We literally can't do anything here. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I get that we have to die. Yeah, we're going to lose because the minus 60% defense. At this point, just do force attack and defense. I just, I mean, there's nothing we can do. This is the only thing we can do, so. We've lost a lot of guys. 20,000? That's such BS that we went to war with both of them at the same time. That's an incredible amount of BS. Right, we're going to stop, the, of course, the force attacks. That is such crap. That is beyond crap. Are you kidding me? How are they able to still put up a defense without any manpower? I'm mean, gonna I guess we have none either, but still. Force the attack. I don't care. You're gonna all oh, we're gonna lose it here anyways because of this, but still. That is such BS. Yeah, I mean, you're just you're gonna lose no matter what. What a waste of time, then. The dream falters. Well, hopefully we don't have a time limit here. Well, even after doing that, they're still disorderly. That's such BS. Are you kidding me? If it's one at a time, then yeah, it'll be really easy. But no, with this, with it like this, there's no way you can win. Especially attacking into mountains. Ugly truth. Can we actually, like, not lose all this defense? Please? The goal is to get up here, but I don't think that's going to work. Minus 60% 6, defense. That's just... Jesus Christ. 70% more attack is not worth it. Um, you didn't get anything else over here. You didn't learn anything else. <sighs> Give it to the best. Sure, why not? Bypass the mountains. <laughs> Please. Yeah, I don't like that. Destroy the league. Euroleague and the guarantee by these guys. Hmm. 
there anything else we can do? We got 3,000 manpower for now. Not really. We still have enough equipment, though. Maybe I should convert more divisions to artillery divisions just to get as much soft attack as possible. Maybe that was, should, was something I should have done. Can you guys actually attack here, maybe? Force it. Force him to literally die there. We're gonna weaken our line maybe a little bit too much. Um, is there anything else? Yes. More attack, please. More, 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 more attack. Every last man has to die. I can't deal, imagine dealing with the resistance here, too. Get that guy in there, because we're gonna attack here next. You gotta hold, son. You gotta hold. I don't want to force the attack yet, because they do have things over there. And we're doing okay-ish. God dang it. Are you kidding me? We've lost so many men. That's insane. That they they guaranteed each other. I'm sorry, but that just pisses me off, man. Uh, train our troops again. Yeah, focus on research is okay. I suppose it'll help get more land options quickly. Indonesian War... Well, that's just such crap. They do both. New Industrial Council. Yeah, they lost a lot of guys, as they should. Uh, they're uncontrollable. Yeah, that's great. Um, Either win or die. That's it. You have two options. Win or die. Besides, so any damage you do to those IFBs, they won't be able to replace, so. Um, we actually might be able to push in here. They're going to be distracted. Good. Oh, can I actually do this now? Pillage fortresses. The Euro League's fortresses were until now almost unassailable no longer. With the League scattered, the former strongholds are wide open, and having been so untouched for so long, are packed with weapons, money, and much, much more. It's time to collect. We'll take everything that isn't bolted down and burn the rest as an example. Burn it all down. Literally burn them all. We're going to take prisoners, but we'll burn them too. All we got to do is cut these guys off just a little bit. I need one division to come here immediately. Cut them off, cut them off, cut them off. Oh my god, just kill them off. Jesus Christ. Just kill them off, please. This is... I would not recommend Dofanger's Brigade. This is impossible. I mean, unless you force attack, you literally can't win. You literally can't win. This is such crap. Uh, I could probably still attack here and try it. You just don't have manpower. You don't have resources. Now they're cut off, you pieces of crap. Orenberg is gonna... I'm gonna burn the crap out of Orenberg. You know what? You see, start attacking here immediately. Village Fortress is good. Loot and... Pillage everything. Every last little, little last thing they've got. If they come in there just a little bit, it's fine. Keep them in place though first. Ooh, I'm gonna have to put one of these guys up here too. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. They're defending the mountains. Get your butts. Why are you going so slow? You force defense. Force defense, you piece of crap. I mean, you, you're going to lose the war for us. Why? Why are you this pathetic? Uh, go here. And now you all hold. Nothing else. We need that manpower. You're gonna force defense. Oh, we can't even force defense. Are you kidding me, man? Get these in here. Go kill yourself. We've lost 50,000 people. That's ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous. Take Ornberg. Come on. Come on. You're gonna win there. 
There is no retreating. Not a single step back. The pillaging of Orenburg. Orenburg at long last has fallen. Our men rampage through the streets, looting and whatever they find, taking any women they see and killing anyone who resists even the slightest amount. The massacre is near total, with tens of thousands dead at our hands, thousands more sure to die from exposure or starvation, and more still scattered to the villages and settlements yet untouched, which will not remain for so for long. <clears throat> As the fling defenders are ridden down by the brigade's Kazakh horsemen, and rivers of blood flow outwards from the sack city, all will know the inevitable fate of those who deny us our spoils. And all will also know that we are not here to stop. All of Russia will bleed before we are through. For plunder, brigade, and for Delvanga. The world is ours to take. Go down here. Kill these guys off. And circle kill. Kill, 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 kill. Yeah, one guy start, start attacking there. Kill every single last one of these pieces of garbage off. Their existence means nothing. Spread joy, yes. We love spreading joy. Kill them all off. Every single last one of them. You want Ornberg back? You're going to sacrifice for it. Kutsk. It's fine. You two go here. You're not leaving, you son of a crap hole. <laughs> you're, you're all dying. You're literally all dying here. Thank God we got rid of them. You pieces of garbage. I'm going to burn these places to the ground. Anything else here yet? Nope. Loot and burn. Jesus Christ. So many men were lost for nothing. Oh, I hope these guys are ready. I'm going to kill every last one of these people. Hmm. Definitely could use more guns, though. Too bad we're out of coffee. Uh, local police force with that one, too. And, actually, I didn't even look at this stuff yet. Oh, yeah, we want to use these guys. Ooh, take off the arch arty, though. That'd be good. And we come over here and do this stuff. It takes literally 1,400 days. That's insane. It makes sense. But it's still insane. So that's why I haven't even touched it yet, really. 567 days is insane. 131? Much better. Much better. Alright, get these guys where they need to be. We're not that strong anymore, but... That's good. It's okay. Now we can use some more rifles and such. Um, Life of the Black Bandit. Mm, sure, why not? That's 750 is actually really good to get. Uh, nothing really there. These guys are extremely weak, so I'm gonna take you two in there. These people are gonna burn. I'm gonna burn them all out. Go straight for Be Belorsk. Oh, you didn't want to lose, yeah? Too bad. Oh, you abandoned your position. And now it's really weak over here. Oh, no. You're going to hold real quick because we're going to go in there, too. We should be able to get in there before they do. Yep. Let them attack us. Let them wail against us. Get more manpower. Because we've lost 60,000-ish. Yeah. They really are trying to make themselves even weaker, aren't they? Two to four divisions. Oh, I'm going to enjoy this. I'm going to slaughter the entire garrison. But first we're going to attack here. Probably you can attack here. Hmm. Let's get one more division up north first. Guns are looking pretty bad, but we'll see if we can change that up a little bit more. Peace conference is over. Huh. Um, We do get, get some stuff there. That stuff is okay. Don't need that. Land auction would be nice. I don't really need that right now. Uh, 50 political power for that much. It's only 150, but I'd rather take it for now. Um, anything else? Not really, no. Bypass and odds, no. <clears throat> I'd love to attack there, but they're full strength right now. And actually, these guys have set themselves up for failure, so... Cut that division off and kill them. <clears throat> I 
As soon as one of these guys moves in, we're going to attack. There you go. They're completely cut off. I knew they, these guys would attack as well. You have it. You have your orders. Either you, I'm going to lose divisions here. I don't. I don't care. I really don't care. We got him. Go near two. Go near two. Or just go in there. That's fine. There we go. We won. My apologies about that. That was insanely difficult. Holy crap. Uh, if you want to read that, please go ahead. If you want to read, read about Chase's Scraps, please go ahead as well. Legion Berm. The League is crushed. The lands, former lands, and all the people within them are wide open for plunder. There is no longer anyone who stands in her way. And we can now have our fun. Take the valuables, abduct the women, and kill anyone who stands or stood against us, and burn the villages. Burn it all. Wait. Why are they back? What? No, 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 no. I am annexing them right now. I'm not going to refight them again. That's BS. I will not do that. I swear to God, I will not do that. Um, let's see. Let's grab that real quick, too. Uh, anything else? Loot and burn. Here are the stragglers. The people run like the prey they are. With a league fallen, countless thousands of these formerly... Those formerly under their protection and try to escape in any direction they can. And carrying anything of value that they possess. It's time to strike, and the night we will descend upon them. We will kill their men, take their children, and use their women however we want. Let the survivors, few as they are, spread far, spread fear far and wide. Pillage Ornberg? I I'm sorry, I'm not doing that. I we just killed them. I'm not going to do that. That's a bunch of BS. I'm going to use Khan's commands in just a little bit to annex them, but I'm not doing that. There's no way in the world I'm going to do that. I we literally just killed them off so hard that I we shouldn't have to do that. We literally annex them. 8,000? No. No. I, I'm, I'm not going to do that. That's BS. That is 100% BS. Purge them. Um, oh, we get more infrastructure. That's fine. But I'll do that in just a little bit. Good Friday agreement. I don't care if it costs us manpower and equipment. I don't care. I do not care. Village Orenburg. Orenburg stands as the sole remaining obstacle between the Brigade and the Great Russian Hunting Grounds of the West. It's time to destroy it. We will descend upon the communes, shatter their defenses, kill anyone who opposes us, take everything they have, and use what remains of their settlements as bases for further raiding up farther afield. We're so close to gold, and we will achieve them. Harry the stragglers, the fire of our hearts is consuming the lands of the Euro League, burning hops and brato each passing day. Now their people are refugees, fleeing as fast as their little feet can carry them from our advance. During the days our scouts stalk the columns of broken vermins, trudging forth with sorrow in their eyes and defeat in their hearts. At night, when they seek some small respite and sleep, our men descend to awaken them to a nightmare. We kill their men with savagery, relieve our frustrations with their women, and take their children to serve us. Any supplies they have taken before, we finally just burn it all to the ground. At night, our men no longer navigate by stars, but by fires across the land, Ust Kata will be our North Star. And yeah, I'll be honest, like, it was, it was kind of okay. I would say it's okay, but even if we didn't, like, use Khan's commands to annex these guys, I mean, we don't have to use manpower to garrison everything here, but, like, if they go to war with us and they just wipe pieces out for after all the men we've lost, that makes literally no sense. And I thought about this a little bit more, too. I know there's going to be a lot of resistance, like, some really fierce resistance, but at the same time, there's a lot of people, I mean, if we're raiding and just, just straight up killing pretty much everyone over there, this they're maybe be a cap of resistance maybe i mean there'd be a really strong resistance but we'd just be killing everybody like the would probably just end up killing a lot of people but then again he might not kill a lot of people just because he needs people to make stuff so he can get some more supplies but the world turned upside down we've done it the perfect little world that the anarchists were building in Orenburg has been turned upside down by us taking what we want we reign supreme here not the anarchists or democrats or whatever they call themselves and we'll show them what we think of them after we take what we want we'll burn this city to the ground let it burn all of it also let's just go ahead and if we ever get any more uh, manpower um just make uh, just store up extra manpower that we don't have right now so but that was bs like we go to war we fight them we beat them well that's a long time holy crap um but you don't you don't Annex him after we're done? What type of crap is that? Uh, trucks, 400 days, realize, uh, it's kind of okay. I kind of prefer to do arty. Anything for engineers, 800 days. Jesus Christ, that's so long. I don't know. Trucks are pretty quick, but now I'll just do that one's fine. Oh, oh, never mind. Oh, 500 days is better than 800. Holy crap. But yeah, like, if we have to fight both, we should annex both. If we fight one, we should only fight one. Only annex one. 
But yeah, I don't I don't tell her crap like that. Holy crud. Holy crud. Give it to the best? Sure, why not? Anything else here? Nope. And we have no manpower and a lot of resistance. Salt the earth. Yes. We've taken everything from Orenburg, including the crops. And now that we have them, we can make sure that they can't get any more. We'll salt what fields we can and burn the rest, without any way to secure their own food supply. Not only can they never rise up against us again, but they'll also have to make a decision. They'll serve us or they'll starve. It's their choice. Pretty much. Pretty much. God, I did not imagine that. That would be that difficult. Minus 60% defense. Just hurts your booty. And that 70% attack is nice, but... I'd rather do without either one of those debuffs and debuffs, buffs and debuffs, but the world turned upside down. That was a fool's notion that all those pathetic communes would ever be able to mount any kind of defense against us. They were living a fantasy. Though the Eurogod would protect them, it was a lie. They thought their leaders would protect them, but it was also a lie. They thought, at the very least, that they could protect each other, but it was a lie. The landscape is filled with ashen husks of these communes, littered with a dead and pillage of all valuables. So often we find that their people have chosen to die by their own hand rather than ours when we arrive, and we relished in it for they have finally seen our truth. The fantasy is over, and their utopia has fallen. I'd imagine, yeah, our band is pretty darn exhausted. Oh, they're gonna do that. Good god, we need more manpower. But take the goods, take the goods. Orenburg, its lands, and everything within them is ours. The brigade will take everything that isn't bolted down, dig up any pathetic attempts at concealment, choose the women we want to carry away, and identify the men we think most able to press, be pressed in a service. And if anyone resists, shoot them, or have our way with them, and have a lot of fun with them. I like that idea. Because all the resistance and crap they gave us... Also, we're doing industrial investments, too, so... I still haven't taken the long life of the Bang of King, so... Um, yeah. Could be a lot better, but hey, it's still 66, and we're not dead yet. I just don't think we'll be able to fight Omsk <laughs> with, with a little manpower that we got. I don't think we'll be able to fight them. Just saying. Just saying. Take the goods, and let all no fear, yes. Salt the earth. Ever since we were there were armies, the commanders they usually realize that an army only marches on its stomach. We may want for much more, uh, but we need their food. They have come. We have come across crop fields plenty in Orenburg's lands enough to feed our army very well. They certainly need it with all the effort they've been putting in to kill all these miserable people. But just as our army marches on its stomach, so does theirs, and so we shall leave nothing for them. Our boys have set to work throwing salt into the earth after we have taken the crops, as well as fill, filling them with landmines. Wells have been poisoned, often by dropping dead cattle inside. Irrigation and waterways have been destroyed. Pipes have been ripped up from the ground. Wires ripped from the walls. We've taken the spoils of this land, and now no one will ever be able to use it again. We are the end times. As it should be. People are unhappy with this again, but, you know, what else is new? Manpower, please. Jesus Christ, we need manpower. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, let, oh, no fear, yes. Fear is just as powerful a weapon as any rifle. After all our conquests, all of our raids, all of our victories, and all the secured plunder, fear both precedes us and follows us, as well as it should. All across Russia, we are the monster of the night, we are the boogeyman, we are the name, the visage, the f men fear, and that women tell whispered stories about to frighten the children. We are fear incarnate, and all will know it. I love this icon. Him with a crown? Oh, that's so cool. So cool. Ah, yes, trainer trips. Even more manpower, please. Uh, get some research, too, because it's god awful right now, as you know. As you can all have seen... But I really think there should be some sort of resistance decay, or maybe not a hurt to resistance growth. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. One last mark, though, of course. We have crushed Orenburg. We have scattered the Euro League to the winds. Only one enemy remains, Lysenko, the madman of the Black Mountain, a former benefactor turned traitor, who thinks that his defenses and soldiers in an insane experience he will protect will protect them from a wrath. He is wrong, and we will begin preparing the means by which to show him. Yes, to the slaughter again. Oh, wait, it's minus 70% defense. Oh, we get plus 60% attack, I guess. That is, that is, oh, oh my gosh. I hope we can win here. Yeah, I hope we can, someone makes a sub mod someday that don't think it could reunify all of Western Siberia. Let all know, Fia, we have come to a most delicious realization that we've inflicted such horror and terror on these people that we begin to cross the line of the myth. It all started with a scout's report that a grandmother had told her grandson that if he did not eat, Dildinger would come to snatch him away. We keep our ears open and heard so much more. Apparently, our horses charge him with hooves of blazing fire. Oscar Dilving has burning coals for eyes, rotten skin, and the legs of a goat. Our men of superhuman strength and the genitalia of horses. Oh boy. Our weapons were blessed by the devil himself to inflict as much pain as possible. We take our prisoners and sacrifice them to Hitler, who has ascended to godhood following his death. We are so powerful because we have the ability to raise the dead after each battle to swell our corrupted ranks. These are all highly entertaining, but more importantly, our proof that we will live on in history as utter villains, right where we wanted to be. Our names will last a thousand years. We can never be a page in someone else's history book. Hey, for sure, yeah. 
Ah, uh, there goes the Ukraine. As it should. One last mock. The king of the mountain. The time has come to ride on the Black Mountain. Alisenko thinks he is safe. He is wrong. We will scatter the few soldiers still loyal to him. Destroy whatever cursed experiments he might be able to send at us. And drag him and his other scientists out of their labs and into the real world. He cannot resist us. He cannot pose much of a threat. Can he? Oh, he probably can. We have more than enough already. Good God, we need more infrastructure. Um, You three are 12 combat with. You guys, you three, are 20 combat with. If we converted you to... These, with the same amount of stuff, we would get technically some more manpower and guns at the expense of artillery, which we have more than enough. So that gives us a little bit more manpower, that gives a few more guns to work with, and a little bit more at you take as well. Overall, not too bad. Oh, did it not have... Hello. Bunkov, huh? What happened to Lysenko? Not bad. Non-aggression pact, huh? They have no manpower. And two to... They have up to two or four divisions. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good about this. Jesus Christ, our guys are looking so bad. Uh, at this point, you know, just convert them all. We have nothing else here. We have enough support equipment. We have enough everything else here. I mean, it doesn't look very good, but whatever. I'm just try to maximize the amount of already we got. Hope we can win. There you go. Try that one. One less mock. King of the Mountain. And Alexander wept, but we will ride. The brigade is ascended from a collection of raiders to the new Macedonians. We rule Osk, we rule the Urals. The step lies open to us, and now we ride and conquer. Like the Greeks of old, with our very own Alexander leading us forever to wine, women, and riches uncountable. The reputation we built here will only grow, not because of a man or woman or child will be safe. We will torch Germania, plunder New York, seek, sack Tokyo. Oh no! And take everything we want, everything we see, the king and his bandits ride. The grass you know. No! Just before the end, no! On parade to celebrate another successful purging of a village and the destruction of those who would oppose his rule, Delvanga was figuratively and literally high. The adrenaline and bizarre concoction of meta methamphetamines, bar barbituates, and random tribal creations in the bloodstream would have sent most doctors into cardiac arrest, perhaps except for one who had treated Adolf Hitler himself. He swayed back and forth on the back of a half-scavenged cretin crowd, out of his mind with bliss, and his men prowled the streets of that town, howling with laughter and drunkenness. They slept into homes in the pairs and quadruples, and soon the homes were alive with terrible noise or silence. In the second story of the building was known as a library, a hundred years off, a hundred yards off, the sniper cleansed his rifle with a methodical ease. His name would be lost to time, but his deeds would not. Be. He scrubbed the scope one last time, halted, hefted the rifle onto the window ledge, and aimed NKVD agents 547B and 547A, took their pistols to hand, and began walking towards the main street. The purpose had been made clear in the briefings. Failure was to be followed by termination. There would be only one window of opportunity for the action to be carried out. They reached the square, saw the figure dancing on the Kattenkrat, aimed. A lone gunman who had drifted down the swirl of dust and blood was that... Uh, West Russian, Western Russia had also turned up. Radicalized by communism, he would be the one the brigade punished with terrible fury in the final hours before it fell apart. He reached the horrified staring crowds, pulled up, pulled out a ludicrously long-barreled pistol fired from the hip. The bullet reached Oscar Delvang and hit his team in 4.53 seconds, puncturing them in 15 separate places at different angles and rebounding. Oscar was killed instantly. Witnesses reporting seeing the largest contiguous, contiguous chunk of head ba fall back and to the left before slapping on the pavement like so much rotten meat. Back and to the left, back and to the left. So he dies. And, and before I reload the save, I do want to see the class of brigade, see what happens here. So now we're led by Fritz Schmedz. So that's not good. But, uh, okay, so King of the Mountains gets cancelled. I Interesting. Interesting. All right. So we do die in the end before we do anything else. So it doesn't look like there's that much here for us. So let's see if we can actually prevent that from happening. All right, so this is my third time doing it. We, I had to do a lie, long life for the Bandit King to prevent him from basically getting assassinated. Kind of sucks, but it is what it is. But King of the Mountain. This has been a very long journey. Longer and bloodier than any of our band ever expected all those years ago. When we were simply the Dilvanga Brigade of the SS, no one would ever guess 20 years later, we would have endured what we've endured, done what we'd have done. The best part, though? We know in our hearts that no one, no one else could have done this but us. All of our efforts have led us here to this moment, to this great conquest. The madman Lysenko was once our ally, and a valuable one at that, but he has finally reached the end of his usefulness to us now that the Euroleague League is destroyed and the Orenburg thoroughly pillaged. Black Mountain is home to the technological and scientific marvels that baffle the mind that belong in novels rather than reality. We have enjoyed these fruits over time, but why just have the occasional fruit when you can own the whole darn tree? Black Mountain will be the true jewel in our crown, and once it is ours, we'll be truly unstoppable. Now is the time we will risk everything. 
I've already risked everything earlier trying to go go to war with both of these guys at the same time, so this is easy mode compared to what we just did. So let's go in, boys. See what happens. They do. Have, okay, we just beat them up immediately. Uh, they do have some support already. What do they have over here? Support already as well. Not bad. And Black Mountain taken. It was long and it was hard, but we have done it. We like it long and hard. The last defenders have crumbled. The Black Mountain is ours at long last. For the first time in our conquest, our men were sent against a professional military force. Lysenko's 22nd Motor Rifle Division, NKVD. While it's not the force it once was, when combined with defenses, tall walls, minefields, and gun nests nesting or defending the mountain base, it was not an easy fight. Yet, as soon as we pushed into the laboratories, we now quickly our boys long to fight soldiers again. We had no idea of the extent of Lysenko's experiments. And her people encountered trap after trap as we attempted to secure the interior. Electric traps which boiled their blood, concussive waves which blew out their eyeballs, poison gas melting their lungs, legions of crazed experiments charging with filthy knives and brute force. The survivors will never forget the horrors of those laboratories, but we finally secured Black Mountain for ourselves. We have captured numerous fascinating pieces of equipment and revolutionary research, along with many of Lysenko's scientists working on the mountain. Yet captured soldiers are telling us Lysenko became obsessed with not allowing his work to fall into uneducated barbaric hands and so detonated explosives in many parts of his deeper labs holding his most prized experiments. Whether he was able to flee or burned with his work is unknown, but no trace has been found alive or dead. We hope that we found some of those stylish white coats, though. That was actually really easy. Yeah, these guys combined are incredibly difficult to fight. Uh, other than that, though, Magnitorgosk is really easy when Lysenko's removed. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, let's finish it off with... Alexander Wet, but we will ride. Even though we have a lot of resistance here. Look at that. Oh my gosh. 57%. Yeah, we just don't have enough guns. And old mystery solved. Look at that. As Dolvanga's men surged through the Black Mountain, they encountered a few familiar faces. It seems that about 50 men who were once bandits in the brigade were trapped in the catacombs of the Dark Mount. Many of them already dead, others trapped, many found in different stages of experimentation. Their pitiful pleas for death granted by the unjudging crack of the bandits' guns. A few had avoided this disgustingly cruel fate and been working for Lysenko's guards, but... These lucky ones were definitely a minority. One soldier thought to check the man against the list of missing men from the headcount a while back, and sure enough, these 50 were on there. They had finally been found, though it was too late for many. Those who were still alive mostly allowed to rejoin the brigade, and they told many a horror story of the experiments and madness of Lysenko. The ones who had become guards were declared traitors and taken as captives, lined up in neat rows with each second one shot. The spared ones, faces covered in not snot and tears, had to drag a dead comrade each into the mountain cells they had guarded. Their fates were, will be likely will likely be unfortunate as they all were able to feast upon uh, our, the bodies of the former friends. Examples have to be set to maintain an iron grip. Even with this fine, so long after the headcount, there are still some names on the list yet to be found after all this time. Um, cool. Yeah, this is this is, this is is not easy to do. This is difficult. This campaign is difficult. And we are out of guns. Actually, no. Look at all the guns we got. We're at minus 300 something. And it's getting worse and worse and worse. But we had a lot more guns. Okay, that's not bad. That was actually a lot better than I thought. Oh, yes. More manpower, please. Thank God. Um, yeah. This, that war was difficult. Holy crap. And it was kind of sad that we couldn't raid it even more, like, down here. But I have a good feeling once Orenberg is taken care of, uh, these guys are going to come for us. Alexander Wet, but we will ride. All right. Give it maybe a few days. We will have something else here. Oh, we will. Oh. Oh, crap. We go to... Oh, we're, we're, we're done. <laughs> we're done. <laughs> um... On the Kazakh Soviet Socialist Republic. I mean, I don't think we'll be able to do it. Oh my god, that's so much manpower. The only group we'd be able to fight are these guys, so. We already don't have any manpower, anyways, but. Um, how long does this take? 15 days? Well, we're gonna go to war with Kazakhstan then. <laughs> we have no manpower. We're trying to make one division. Do we have any manpower here? We had three. <laughs> we had three guys. Oh, uh, we're going to go out in a blaze of glory then. Oh, crap. They're going to attack us soon then. Probably. Oh, actually, no. This is Euro League, but we don't even get... Apparently, back in the day, like, this had its, like, own unifier, like, for the Southern Euros. So, we'll see. I mean, division for division. We're doing really well. We have no manpower, obviously, but still. Uh, what's going on? Oh, okay, they're going to reunify the Mosco uh, Moscow, basically. That's fine. Um, Alright. Good luck, guys. <laughs> Good luck. Just don't get your capture capital captured, please. I guess my one head down here, just to cut these guys off, and then head down to Kaiser Lorda. 
Of course, I mean, concentrating our forces against Omsk. Oh, there's no way we'd be able to win. They got so many divisions, hundreds of thousands of manpower, just it would be impossible to win. So, yeah, 100,000 manpower. We've got literally none. So, hey, we can train our troops, though. We can focus on research, right? Great. Here, head on into here, guys. Even with your little strength, you're doing really well against these guys, which is nice, actually. Well, we got the capital. Now what? Oh, I thought that was us. God dang it, I thought that was us. Nice. Caucasine? Oh, yeah. Get some more manpower. I guess technically, if we had enough time, we could probably actually... Like, beat all these guys up, but we'll see. Um, how much more do we need for these guys? We cut off 11,000 while not even taking a thousand couch piece. We got a long way to go, though, to actually do this properly. What's their strength like? They have a lot of manpower. Jesus Christ. Above up to five divisions. We have more divisions than them, but uh, we don't have the guns for this stuff. Actually, if we capitulate, then we might get a lot more guns, actually. Uh, I knew that would happen. Yurlsk. I want you to do whatever you need to do. This will be fine. We actually have some more military factors. Look at that. Nice. Yes. That's good. Keep them in their place. Can we actually take out Kazakhstan? The entire brigade is going to take out Kazakhstan. Uh, Alma, Alta. Actually, you guys go here. Keep taking stuff. Keep taking stuff. We need to encircle them and kill them off. But keep going, guys. Nice. God dang, I thought that was us again. Um, desert developments, infrastructure, that's fine. Give you the best, sure, why not? Soldiers are uncontrollable. Bandit state. We're still beating up those forces like crazy. My goodness, how much more do we need to take? How many more states do we need? Where's the capital? They have no capital. Seriously, where's the last where's the last place? Are you kidding me, man? Get rid of them horses. Oh, trapped. Okay, so these are going to die now. Tensions have always been high between Lysenko and Dolvanga. As no surprise that Dolvanga attempted to launch an assault on the Black Mountain. What? However, perhaps he should have taken more time to prepare his attack. Today, and he, many of his brigade met with a grisly fate after he entered an abandoned mine that supposedly led to the core of the mountain. As he entered the mine, Dolvanga himself at the helm. The, uh, the entrance to the mine collapsed, crushing several members of the brigade, trapping more than three quarters inside. With no surprise, they're not expected to survive very long. That makes literally no sense. We already took them out. So... I just want to capitulate these guys. Please, why would they not just die? Like, come on. This is dumb. I don't want to reload. And Are you kidding? That's so stupid. That's so stupid. Alright, so now... We got the same event here as well, but we were actually able to capitulate Kazakhstan. Can you imagine Oscar Dilvanger just leading an entire group of Kazakhs? There's like, like, like 10 German guys, and nothing but Kazakhs down here. Um, we could go to war with these guys, but he's going to die anyways. Um, so, hey, it's been fun. This has been a lot more intense and insane than I really thought it would be. But hey, look at that. We got more than enough guns. Great. And, uh, well, I think that's probably where we're going to leave it here for now. Actually, we can actually go to war with all the Russian warlords. It looks like probably them. Wow. Yeah, we're out of manpower. So, how much are we out? We just casually need 61,000. <laughs> Hey, but anyways, if you enjoyed the campaign, I certainly did, except for the part where you're, uh, we'd go to war with the Euro League and Orenberg at the same time. But if you enjoyed the campaign, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.